Hello everyone. Please bear with me. It is 5.30 on a Wednesday. Wow, my brain's already gone. It's 5.30 on a Wednesday. I just got off of work. I meant to film this yesterday when I had a day off, but I got sucked into a sewing project. Oops. Welcome to today's video. Today will be a bit different than all other videos. When this video goes live on Saturday, it will be my birthday. So I didn't know what to do and then I'm like, duh Kendra, what does everyone on YouTube do on their birthday? Blank things I learned in blank years. So on Saturday, I am going to be 27. So 27 things I learned in 27 years. Now, when I first sat down to make my good old list, I was like, should I mention like life hacks, like fun, interesting things I feel like not many people have heard of that I've learned, or should I get like philosophical, like what I've learned about myself over the past 27 years. But then, you know, I sat down to write it out and I had no idea what to do. So I ended up just doing 27 things that I learned over 27 years that I feel like if it were me in the past, this is what I would benefit from hearing. This is what I would tell myself at a younger age. This is the life advice I would give you. These are the things I have learned that are going to help you get through life as best as you can. So. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, number one. I feel like if you don't get anything else out of this video, listen to this because it is the best advice I can give. I feel like it's the golden rule. People like people always mention the golden rule, but they don't ever say what the golden rule is. Is this the golden rule? Number one, treat others how you would like to be treated. If you just take a step back from everything in the world and your political views or your views on a religion or gender or like literally anything, okay? Just treat others how you would like to be treated. And for some people this is hard. So one other thing I wanted to mention was treat others how you would want a loved one to be treated. Because some people might take a little bit more for themselves, but if someone is acting harshly or rudely to a loved one, they would stand up for that person. That is my number one thing, is treat others how you would like to be treated or how you want your family and your loved ones to be treated. You know, just be kind to others. It doesn't cost anything. <laughs> number two, enjoy the little things. I even have this sign back here actually says enjoy the little things in life for someday you will realize they were the big things and i think that is so true so enjoy the little things number three flossing is more important than brushing people will laugh at this because look at my note crack joke not a joke about cocaine but the joke that i heard was i learned this in dental hygiene school actually guys okay and they always told me that there are other replacements for brushing your teeth but there's no replacement for flossing or like interdental cleaning of some kind and they said brushing your teeth without flossing is like wiping your butt cheeks and not the crack so I'll just leave that with you <laughs> number four drink water I love water, okay? I love water so much. Thankfully, I enjoy water. I know a lot of people out there don't. Get yourself some of those Mio, some of those flavor things. Drink as much water as possible. It's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, it's good for your health, it's good for everything in your body. Just do it, just drink water, okay? Number five, eat whatever the heck that you want. Just do it 
in reasonable portion sizes and eat everything in moderation. I cannot tell you how many times I have thought about going on a diet, wanted to go on a diet, thought I needed to restrict what I was eating, needed to cut calories, needed to count calories, needed to do all this stuff, and oh my god, it stressed me the heck out. The thing that I've learned that's best for me is keeping my stress levels down. Oh my god, I quit. It's a long story. I've mentioned it in previous vlogs, but when I quit my hygiene job after COVID, oh my gosh, that was the biggest stressor in my entire life. And I lost 30 to 40 pounds. Like, I literally was not even trying to lose weight. I lost 30 to 40 pounds in a few months. Not even trying. I wasn't changing. I mean, the only thing that changed was I wasn't eating fast food anymore because I wasn't going out because there was a pandemic. So I was eating at home. Uh, we had gotten a puppy, so I was going outside and I was walking more often. And other than that, literally nothing other than my stress levels. So I have just learned to cut down on my portion sizes, eat actual reasonable amounts and not American diet sized amounts but yeah in order to try to keep this video as short as possible let's keep moving number six be yourself people say this and it sounds cliche but oh my gosh it is the best advice just be you just I know it's hard to not think about what everyone else is thinking about you and to not worry about that but seriously once you let that go and you just be you and you just be genuine and if not like as long as being doing whatever the heck you want and being yourself doesn't involve hurting others or you know being extremely rude and mean to people do whatever the heck you want i also wrote embrace the things you love and don't let anyone keep you from your dreams life is too short for fake friends so that's a whole lot in one but you know what embrace the things you love like literally my hobbies and crafts are weird well i guess not weird to some people like I like to read, I like to sew, I like to listen to music, I like to watch TV, I like to walk outside, I like to watercolor, I recently got into quilting, I love interior design, I love, like, I can sit there and watch how it's made for hours, like, I love to watch space documentaries, like, I love so many different things. Oh my god, I didn't mention marching band. I was a huge marching band nerd. Guys, I have a lot of interests. I don't think I even mentioned some. I think those were the main ones though. Oh, I put life is too short for fake friends in this because I feel like that goes along with being yourself. I feel like I was definitely the kind of person where even in middle school I was starting like right when everyone started to get clicky and starting to get weird and judgy and backstabby and their little teenager crap that goes on. I feel like I noticed that right away. I feel like I've always been kind of mature for my age and I have no time for that. Zero time for fake people. I just want you to be genuine with me and I will be genuine with you and there doesn't need to be games. Let's just move on. Number seven, sing at the top of your lungs. I am not that great of a singer. I was never really in choir, so I really don't know, I guess. I mean, maybe I'm average singer, but I know that there's people that are way better. Than I am but oh my gosh singing at the top of your lungs is so much fun especially when I'm in the car by myself and I just oh, I jam hard in my car it's a wonderful time I highly encourage you to do so number eight is you can be totally different than your family and that is okay like I said all those hobbies that I have um some people in my family have those hobbies but not a lot and I've just kind of learned to embrace that I've always just kind of done my own thing I've I guess I've always been kind of a loner I like to work individually 
because I just create my own system. I'm in my head a lot and it just, it works well for me. Uh, number nine, read books. I have my beautiful bookshelf sitting in front of me that I can look at, but you guys know if you've seen any of my booktube videos, you know I like books, so just read some books. It's good for you. <laughs> Number 10 is the 10 rule. That is just how I learned it. I feel like people probably have other names for it, but it's a rule that I have heard in relationships, specifically <laughs> romantic relationships. And that is don't waste time arguing over things that won't matter in say like 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 days, or like I've heard 10 days, 10 months, 10 years, that kind of thing. Just take a step back. Will it matter in 10 hours? Because if it won't, then just drop it. It does not matter. It is not worth fighting over. It is not worth saying things that you don't mean. It's not worth it. Number 11, I wrote, write that down. And if you've seen Blast from the Past, People, okay, I feel like people never know about this movie and it is a hidden gem. It's called Blast from the Past. It, it, I think it was made in the 90s. It has Brendan Fraser and, oh my gosh, what is her name from Clueless? Alicia Silverstone, thank you. Um, Sissy Spacek, it has, oh my god. Why am I blinging on his name? I need more cowbell. Um, he's in Hairspray. He's in, oh my god, he's in so much stuff. Who is that? I am completely blanking. Now it's gonna drive me nuts. Oh my god. Christopher Walken. Oh my god, how could I not remember Christopher Walken? Anyway, it's a wonderful class and I feel like no one knows about it. Oh my gosh, please. Go find it, go watch it. It is, it's hilarious. It's so good. Why was I even talking about that movie? Write that down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this rule is write that down. I, wow, I got so sidetracked by that. And I laugh just because me and my mom, we have watched that movie several times and we love it. And we are total list makers. And so anyway, we get a kick out of the part where she's naming things to buy when they need supplies and she always says there's also something called a grocery store write that down and so anytime my mom and i ask each other to write something down we always we always quote that movie <laughs> number 12 do things that you love even if you're not good at them who cares if you're good at them okay i said do it for the fun of it like just do things because you enjoy them and do things for the process of them. Do things because you just feel like doing it. Who cares if you're good at it? Just do it. It'll be way more fun that one. Number 13. Shout out to my dad. Doubt he's watching this, but that is take care of your car. Even if it's junky, doesn't matter, take care of it. Change the oil. I have heard so many stories about grown adults not checking the oil in their car. Check your oil, take it to a mechanic, go get it changed. Check your tires, make sure they are full of air, the correct air pressure. Most tires will say on the tire what PSI they should be at. Always keep a tire pressure gauge in your glove box. Keep it tidy, it will make things run better if <clears throat> the car is clean and it doesn't have dust going through like the air vents and circulating through it and the engine and all that. It'll work better when your car stays clean. Don't get your gas tank get lower than a quarter of a tank. I normally follow this rule, especially in the winter time. I live in the Midwest. It gets very cold, it gets very snowy and icy. You never know when you might get stuck or you might be driving for an hour when it normally takes you 20 minutes. So make sure you keep that da gas tank full. Those I think are the basics of taking care of your car. All right, 
number 14. This is advice for relationships and that is be honest, be open, and communicate often. Always be straightforward with what you want. Always be straightforward with your partner and communicate them about what you're feeling and what you're going through. And like, it's kind of like what I said, I don't know, earlier. Just be straightforward with people. Like, I'm gonna be open and honest with you. And you can be open and honest with me. Like, I don't have time for games. Don't have time for crap. Just be open and just ask about you. Ask for what you want, even if you think it's ridiculous, or even if you think you might be being a little over the top or a little moody, especially as a woman. Ask for what you want. And I have definitely noticed this with Trid. Don't, I can't guilt trip him. I can't like leave hints. I just have to be straightforward and be like, hey, do this, or I want this. Like, you have to just be straightforward. Blinders. No mind games. No beating around the bush. What do you want? <laughs> Next one, number 15. Crying is totally okay. Trust me, I cry probably at least once a month, if not more. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to let it out. And like, I feel like my crying isn't a bad thing. It's not like I'm sitting there uncontrollably sobbing for hours on end. Sometimes you just shed a little tear. Sometimes you just have a moment and you need to cry and be sad for a little bit and then move on. And that is totally okay. We just need to feel our emotions sometimes and slow down and just process things. And that is totally completely fine and normal. Please do it. <laughs> Number 16, and that is how to tie shoelaces like a boss. I will insert a clip. I don't remember who even taught me this, but I learned this in like the fourth grade, I think, and I've been tying my shoelaces like this ever since. It's so fast. It's so easy. Check it out. Okay. So you start with your laces crossed like that and then you just make sure the, your pointer and your thumb are free. So hold with these three fingers back here. You're going to do one forward and one backwards. Twist and pinch these loops and pull. <laughs> this is how I tie my shoes in real time. Bam! So quick and easy. I'll show you one more time. Hold with these three fingers. You're gonna twist one forward and one backwards so they create the opposite how the line's going the opposite way pinch and pull so quick and easy guys number 17 make time for silence Sometimes you just need some peace and quiet. So take like five minutes whenever you feel like you need it or like every day, every other day. I don't always get to it every day, but do the best you can. It is good to unwind and turn the TV off and look away from the phone, turn music off and just sit in silence or just sit and enjoy nature for a little bit. My battery's blinking. I don't think I'll get through them all, but let's move. Number 18, tell people you love them. Family, friends, anyone you love, tell them you love them whenever you feel the need to express it. it could be every day, it could be multiple times a day, you could be calling them once a week, you know, 
you never know when it will be the last time. You never know when someone could die in a freak accident. You never know when someone might get struck with an illness. You just don't know. So just tell me. Okay, battery died. So I don't remember where I stopped, but. Number 19, your parents are just people. They're just people too. And they make mistakes and they don't always know how to handle everything perfectly. And adults grow as people all the time. And so, you know, I've come to realize this, especially in this last year, moving away from home and for the first time really like spending time away from my own parents. And I feel like, especially now that I'm an adult too, like, I'm 27 and like you just realize that your parents are people too. Like when you're a kid, they're like this superhero. See, you know that rule about crying? It's okay. <laughs> like you feel like your parents are superheroes or they can do anything and you know you just realize that you know your parents are people too they make mistakes sometimes like no one's perfect all the time and i don't know why i just got emotional probably just thinking about my childhood anyway <laughs> I always do that. Do you do that? I always wipe my tears with my sleeves. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next thing I learned. Number 20. There will always be someone out there who disagrees with you. Or there will always be someone out there who's smarter than you, or taller than you, or faster or stronger than you. There will always be someone out there. Trust me learned so many things so young you forget like how you learn things but i just feel like i've known that for a long time and you just have to set that aside you just have to keep that in the back of your mind there's always going to be someone who's better than me out there but you know what that's not going to keep me from doing my best and making me proud of myself and helping like making me accomplish something just because I want to, you know? So, anyway, going with the someone will always disagree with you, you just have to agree to disagree and be respectful of others' opinions and just don't force anything on anyone. Like, no one wants that. Just be nice to people. Number 21. Life is better with a pet. Now, I've shown Kiba a little bit in some of my videos. Our roommate has a dog and his name is Kiba and he's very cute and I love him so much. And he's a little husky and he's like one year and one month old. He is a lot to handle but we love him so much. I don't even care about the shedding and the sticks everywhere and stepping on bones and all the ridiculousness that comes with a dog. I love him so much and my life is happier because he is here. Number 22. Coffee is always better when you make it at home. And I don't even drink coffee very often, but every time I do, whether it's hot or iced, those are really the only coffees that I drink. I like things pretty simple. I like some vanilla creamer and a little bit of sugar and coffee. But you can make it really nicely at home if you just take the five to 10 minutes to do it. Turns out wonderfully and it's way cheaper than getting Starbucks. It's like $5 a cup, so. Number 23, college is overrated. I learned this the hard way. I still am paying off student loans. I went to a four year college, four year university actually, for a year and a half and then I left and I went to a community college for way too long so I with all my credits I have tons of credits but I only have two AA degrees so I have 
an associate in liberal arts and an associate of science in dental hygiene. And I went to college for like seven years. And you know what? It's still overrated because I still don't know what the heck I want to do. And I wasted all that money and all that time. And you know what? I have come to realize as long as you can pay your bills and still set aside money and save some and you can find a way to do the things that you love, you will be okay. As long as you find a way to do, do those two things and not be a complete stressful mess, just do it that way. You don't, it's okay. If the thing that you are passionate about and the thing that you love is not your career, it is completely okay. Because there's a lot of different things that I love and I still cannot narrow down what the heck I want to do as a career. The only thing I've ever known that I want to do is be a mom. And you can't make a lot of money doing that. So, gotta find other ways. Number 24. Keep it simple. And come to learn that especially after having dived into minimalism just keep it simple it's easier on our brain it's, it makes us less stressed it makes us happier there's science behind it i don't know all of it but you can go look it up keep things simple and it'll make your life a little better number 25 that is handmade cards are way more fun and they will probably mean more to the recipient and they are cheaper. I normally just buy a pack of, I think it's a 20 pack of blank cards and blank envelopes off of Amazon and I just make my own birthday cards or graduation cards or Christmas cards or anything for anyone that I want and they are custom, they are handmade, might take a little bit longer but it's a lot more fun for me to do it that way and not spend like three to five dollars or more now on a piece of paper that I'm going to give to someone. Um, most people will probably throw away a store-bought card but I feel like people will tend to keep handmade cards because they're a lot more meaningful. Someone put their time into it and that shows that you love them. So handmade cards for the win. Number 26. Embrace the present. Don't worry too much about things that are like way off in the future or out of your control. Um, I have dealt with this a lot, especially with dealing with anxiety and it's just not worth it. Just do your best to embrace the present. Sometimes it can be hard, but take a deep breath or a few deep breaths. <sighs> And just, just enjoy the now. Just be grateful. Speaking of, number 27, be grateful. Look for the positives. Even if we fail, there is something to be learned. Now, as I've mentioned, like, spent seven years in college and still don't use my degree and um, there's a lot of different hobbies that I like and you know what, I've just embraced the fact that my hobbies are not going to be the things that make me money right now in this season of life and that's okay with me. I just have to be grateful for the time that I do have to spend those things and be grateful that I have a job and a roof over my head and food on the table. That's all that you can really do, guys. Just keeping it simple. Just enjoy the little things, like a lot of the things that I have said in this video so far. I'm sure it was a super long one. But that's all, guys. Number 27. Crossed off. <sighs> so those are 27 things that I learned in these 27 years on Earth. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel down below. Leave a comment on something that you've learned or your favorite thing that I mentioned or just anything. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Thank you for supporting my channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a happy day. Bye.